Welcome to Martini Time and following the Dharma Trail. So, happy trails to you, along with Roy Rogers. I think I've got a little bit of a stuffy cold. My voice sounds kind of stuffy. I got a little nose run and a little thing here and there. So, I really, you know, I contemplate, well, do I want to do this tonight or not? But then, you know, maybe a martini would make me feel better and having a conversation with you. So, <clears throat> that cleared it up right away. <laughs> so I put the title of this talk on uh, The Crown is Too Tight. And uh, have you been watching the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the Netflix series The Crown? Um, it's got two seasons out. I watched the first one when it came out, then I watched the second. Now we're watching the first one again. And uh, it's a very... Uh, layered story. Uh, it, so it, it's it's uh, uh, kind of like the uh, it, the ideas keep percolating in me, and uh, some of the tensions in it that are very interesting. And one of them seems to be that the crown is too tight. Um, a lot of the narrative of the story is about trying to this family. Uh, the Windsors, trying to fit into the demands of the monarchy. This uh, role, this divine role. Uh, you know, England, you know, it's really, it's really great that England has maintained its monarchy because it's ancient mythology. Uh, this is the way humanity has always been uh, governed, is through uh, a king and uh, our emperor, and this is a god man or god woman in the case of this movie. So it's uh, it's a god role on earth. It's like the king is the direct emissary of God on earth. Therefore, they're so rich in the robes and the crown and the ritual and the detail, the perfection. You see, so it's this uh, and and this divine being. It's a mythic role. It's, it's a mythic being. It's like all the people of the society are in that one person. That one person is all, and all is one. One is the many, many is the one. And there is a sacrifice for the person who wears the crown. They must sacrifice their personal lives. There, and this is so. A lot of the drama about the crown is about this sacrifice of personal life, particularly with Queen Elizabeth, since she is the queen, and all of those in her family, her husband and her sister, uh, and even her uh, mother, all have to uh, are fighting this uh, uh, sacrifice of me. What about my personal, individual life? And how can I have that and fit into the uh, ritual requirements of the crown? So that's kind of like the ongoing story here. And uh, also the other, the other theme seems to be that as queen, Elizabeth feels the need to do something when the country's in trouble, but she's being advised particularly by her mother, the Queen Mother, uh, the power of the monarchy is not acting. <laughs> so the power is not acting instead of acting because the Prime Minister acts. That's what the Prime Minister does and the Parliament. They act, but the monarchy doesn't act. That's its power. And that's kind of strange. I mean, we that that's uh, difficult to... Uh, it's kind of like... Um, well, it really goes against the the uh, also the the impulse to do something when there's a trouble. I should do something, uh, and so this has got a lot of different themes in it that uh, that I try to apply to my personal life. Uh, because if I can't apply it to my personal life, you know, it doesn't. Yeah, that that's when it begins to resonate. So, uh, do I have a crown? Do you have a crown? Do we have trouble? getting, fitting our crown. Uh, 
uh, what, and what is our role in life? Uh, I, yesterday, I was writing about a, there was a picture of uh, three uh, Muslim women. It, it was on a meme, and I just got the Google image. But it was three Muslim women in a burqa, and uh, little eyes peeking out. You know, that's all you saw. You see, so they, uh, uh, and I and I felt like um, you know that that uh, we all kind of wear a, a burqa as a persona that we wear around a role, so to speak. And, uh, but the real me, the real you, is just peeking out through this image of who I am. And very few people get to see behind the robe, you know, just good friend, trusted friends. There are a few friends or a spouse or maybe, you know, people that are close that we are free to be uh, without to be vulnerable and not wear a protective robe uh, or what we could call here in, in a, a persona. You know, a persona would be my, the image we project. And my father, for instance, was a naval officer. And uh, for him, his persona of a naval officer was who he was. So when he was home, he could never take off this burqa. He could never be... Uh, with anyone, including me or his sister or his daughter, you know, as vulnerable, you see. So that burqa, that idea of the burqa or the role, uh, is also an avoidance of being vulnerable, uh, being being human. And so, uh, and, and I think that element uh, uh, we all have to deal with uh, is when can I be vulnerable? And we really can't let take off that burqa that that shield, you see, unless we trust the other person. So there's this trust that has to happen. When there's trust, you open, you see, and that's why people get so wounded when there is trust and then the other person uh, violates that trust. And that, that, that's a wound that rarely heals, you see, because you expose the heart and the other person manipulates or uses you, you see. So there's a lot of, uh, uh, so in a way, the monarchy uh, reminds me of a uh, uh, shield or a uh, golden burqa uh, behind which you never see the person. So that, so Queen Elizabeth was very, that was a whole thing. The, the, when you're the, you always show yourself to the public as the, Da -da, the king, the monarch, the queen, you see. And you don't let them see your vulnerable humanity behind it. There was a scene in the, uh, where they were, the, uh, Elizabeth and uh, Philip went to, uh, on a tour. Uh, they were in Australia and, uh, they got mad at each, she got, uh, they got mad at each other and, and she started throwing stuff at him and he ran out of the house, uh, and she was throwing stuff at him, and they looked up, and there was a whole bunch of Australian camera people running the camera. They were just filming the house, and they were like, oh, we're exposed. You know, we got caught without our burqa. <laughs> so she went up to him later and said, uh, you, know, what can I, you know, what can I do to help you? And they, they took the roll out and destroyed it, you see. But that whole... Uh, uh, you know, that theme plays out in our everyday life where uh, we don't want to be, uh, uh, we, we, we're afraid to be vulnerable. Um, so we wear burqas, or, which is a metaphor for a shield or a persona that protects us, you see. And uh, rarely, it's like a turtle uh, who can't come out of its shell. One, you know, when, when it's safe, is it safe to come out? We may peek out, you see, and reveal our humanness, our heart, uh, our true self, you see. So there's that element in the crown of, of uh, this play between being a real human being, flesh and blood, and being a facade, being a, a show, you see, being a ritual. And... Uh, and there's something also in the in the crown that uh, is about England. <coughs> Excuse me. It's 
is it whether it's worth it or not? You know, why keep it in the modern world? And so there's the uh, there was the movement that uh, was was uh, depicted or described where the uh, particularly with with uh, Philip when he was given the job of planning the uh, ordination of Elizabeth and he wanted it televised so that people could watch it. So uh, uh, there's the idea that the, the, the crown had to move from being very distant and aloof to being more uh, in contact with the people and go to events, you know, and, and uh, make themselves available. And, uh, and also the crown became celebrity. Uh, and so the, uh, the, the, the people wanted to know, they wanted to expose the, it, it, it's a double binding thing uh, that the people wanted them to be exposed and reveal their humanness, but at the same time, they wanted them to be aloof and above the fray, you see. It's kind of like the Victorian grandmother, you know, we all have, I did anyway, had grandmothers who uh, could not, or the, the, the lady who sits in the chair and watches the children play, but she could never get down on the floor and play. You know, that kind of, you know, that, you know, you, so there's the, anyway, I'm, my cold is making me ramble. <laughs> so, but anyway, watch The Crown. It's a many layered cake, I find. And uh, so I'll drop it, I'll let it go there and uh, maybe watch another series tonight. So thanks for dropping in.